I believe now is the perfect time for an update video, and probably one that's a little longer than usual, mainly because we are getting to an exciting point in the channel. The second part of episode 1 of Roxy's DXC Friends is over halfway produced at this current time, and I have an upcoming video for Nick and Shane, where they get a Q&A session for the first time since the finale. But now it is time for something important, characters. I will start on the matter of Roxy's DXC Friends most currently added members, as we are almost at the 170 member limit. A lot of characters have been added over time for Roxy's DXC Friends either because I obtained the rights to use them, or they were requested to be in the group because of a romantic partner. I still have to add Gustavo G, who some will refer to as just Gus, and Shayna, who will also be squad performer for Roxy's team in addition to Edwin's, to the wiki, along with some people in the allies sections, like the ready rescuers, Ars heroic allies, and also some additional troublemaker allies. But there is one new member I want to discuss really quickly here, while I'm on the subject. One of the newbies I still haven't added to the wiki is a guy by the name of Schwartz Metz. You might know him better as Scissors Genderbend from our animates Trixie Squad Genderbends. He will also be joining, despite his current status as a ray victim. How he gains a spot and is saved is a subplot of episode 2, but I just wanted to clarify that he has been given a spot, and will have plot relevance, so be sure to watch and see more about Schwartz. In addition to all of that, I'm assuming you see these two people right here? These guys are my next subject. These two are officially going to be the last two Happy Kim made characters to be on the team, unless any plans change before 170. These two were created specifically to fill roles I still need to have on the team, roles that have become very common among modernly made teams. I will allow my last two originals to introduce themselves. Hello to everyone. My name is Asmundel Benson. I am a squad building manager. Roxy's team doesn't have any mates, butlers, or janitors, so I'm the replacement. I don't clean the buildings and other areas though, everyone helps out in our team. I just manage and give people tasks, and luckily, I always have a ton of volunteers, mainly the more geeky and hobby based troublemakers, and my personal closest friends. I actually have an interesting crush. Ned Matthews, one of Roxy and Harry's closest friends. I work as a model in my spare time, and I love Ned so much, and Roxy is amazing. Oh hey y'all, I'm just catching up on the news. I'm Otto Halvorsen, the squad's doctor. Many people don't think this of me because of my style, but I was actually a child genius, and I graduated from college at only 17 years old, and got the certification to be a doctor. I'm a troublemaker, because I can be extremely edgy, play music too loud and wake up all my neighbors, and I have a bad habit of being very loud when I'm angry, even though most of the time I'm happy. Gus Gurel often flirts with me because he thinks I'm the closest thing to Royce he can get which I think is pretty funny. Thanks you two, we will get back to Roxy's remaining spots in a minute. For now we have two more character groups to talk about. These are two groups I have needed to get done for our animate for a while now. The first one of these, is new ray victims he can work with, and I've got him covered. I have created seven new victims, and even though they can't introduce themselves, I can introduce them on our TV. Let's start with them. Let's start with Farrell Barnes, Ray's public affairs manager. Farrell was a college student wanting to start a speaking career, but got kidnapped by Ray, and gets similar deplorable treatment to how she treats Natasha Holloway. He is responsible for lying for Ray and her friends, and making sure they get away with things, and can manipulate organizations like police and rich businesses like Clara's dads, in order to avoid punishments and other things and she will happily make him take the fall when things go wrong. There is also Nadine Levi, Ray's stockbroker. She wasn't full on kidnapped, but more coerced with the promise that Ray would help her build her portfolio, which obviously, Ray doesn't do. She uses Nadine as a source of income with her investment skills, relying on her to get Ray money via the stock market. Nadine is a very dull person, but that's mainly because she hasn't been able to catch a break with Ray. Finally for the first section, we have Daniela Medina, Ray's planner. She was kidnapped by Ray, even though she usually kidnaps men, as Daniela's inclusion was at Patrick's request. 
Daniela used to be a jack of all trades, but nowadays under Ray's order, she has to book hotels, order food, hire people, and do other things from other people. Daniela is very polite, and has a huge amount of class, being very popular before her kidnapping, and now everyone misses her a lot. These last four are a special group. Their names are Sung Ho Bian, Cheng Duan, Nguyen Wangsa, and Haruto Daka. They were all born in America, but their heritage is from four different countries. Sung Ho's is Korean, Cheng's is Chinese, Nguyen's is Thai, and Haruto's is Japanese. They are a boy band called The Recipe, and are Katie Edwards' favorite group of all time. They are all very nice, and support peace between people of all cultural backgrounds, regardless of what the actual countries are doing, since the individual person's love is what counts most of all. Ray is the most abusive towards the four of them, but they always try and keep happy, even as forced servants. They wanted to eventually become heroes, and even are huge spies of heroes fans, but they unfortunately got kidnapped. They really like the Lushy Pops, Penn's group of five, and their favorite spies of heroes members. They want to become free one day, and I hope our animate features these four on his channel. Next. I am going to introduce to you four members of the Fields Banks family. These are four of Candy and Chip Set's cousins. One of them is on Lindsay's side of the family, and is a sibling of Reynold, and evil Fields Banks, and Liliana, more of an anti-hero, although the family doesn't hate her. The other three are on Beth's side of the family, and are all siblings. Let's introduce you to these people. First, we have Leaf, who is Reynold and Liliana's gay brother and he is the middle child. Leaf is gay, but he always wants to be involved in the evil side of the family's crime business. Don't let his charm fool you, he will attempt to hurt you if he hates you. But he cares a lot of people he loves, especially Jordan Fields Banks. He is about a normal level of villainous, but will put it aside if Jordan needs help. He also is actually a Roxy's DXC friend's ally, even though Royce and Roe are on the team and is the rival of Rosario and Ren. Next is Sherry, who is the youngest of her siblings, and the least evil of her villainous family members, like Rosario for the Cyprus. She is very much a wild child, and mainly only does crime for the thrill, and to get favors from her family, and is Ricardo's rival. She loves rollerblading, and wears rollerblades, and never shoes. She loves taking risks, and showing off, even if she's being a little crazy about it. She also has a very unhealthy obsession with explosions. Next is Harrison, the middle child of his family group. He and Chip said are very close, and he takes after a lot of Disaster X crew members in how they construct being evil. He is Rowan's main rival, and he is known for being more a construction guy than a repair guy, and even will take sledgehammers to where he commits crimes. He isn't as evil as Chip said but is pretty evil overall compared to everyone else in both families. Finally, we have Ramona, not only the oldest of her siblings, but the heir to the Fields Bank's troublemaking empire. She is evil, the evilest of these four, but not as evil as Candy or Chip set. She and Ralph hate each other the most of all, and practically want to kill each other. Ramona takes her troublemaking very seriously, is always learning how to get better at planning, and can often be found in Vegas learning about gangsters. Finally, we are at the most important part of the video, the final spots on Roxy's DXC friends. Let's start with an important detail. How many spots are taken? 164 spots are taken. I would like to note, Lucille Schultz does not count to that total, because Squad Records Keeper is now going to count as a specialized role, similarly to security, the squad lawyer, and the squad president. Speaking of security, take a look at this. You probably remember that Julius and Wendy were auditioned for the squad, and I gave them special security roles. Julius is the leader of the security team, while Wendy is the senior security member, being by far the oldest security team member. Here are our other security guards, Bobby Dinwiddie, Mateo Perez, Jen Larson, and Ali Colaney. These guys will be featured throughout the series, so I hope you get to know them well. Back on topic though, there are six spots remaining. Now, I don't want to let them go up to random chance, because honestly, 
I really don't want to reject any of your members. Therefore, I have decided to personally ask upon six people to give me my final six members. Mainly as thank you to these people for their public support. And remember, if you aren't on the list list, you can always submit allies at any time. I will try to feature allies whenever I can, and trust me, you want to have some allies before the finale of Season 1. You can put your allies on other teams as well. So without further to do, here are who I am going to give my final 6 characters slots to. The first spot will go to our animate, my fellow anti-hero team maker, and owner of the second half of the anti-hero alliance. R is responsible for an extremely large amount of my members, including some of the most powerful members on the team. This one was very obvious, and I can't wait to see what he comes up with. Fun Rocks Red No will get the second slot. I've known Fun for a longer period of time than most, and he's produced some really good members for teams, quite a few who have siblings I've created, and he is responsible for many, who is in the top 5 leading members, which I really appreciate. YTV and Teletoon Animate has expressed interest in making a member, and I wanted to give him the opportunity to do so by giving him one of the slots. He made two summary themed troublemakers for the hard cards, and I absolutely adored them, and I hope he makes a summer themed troublemaker for my team. Freddy Hilda was a big contributor of members, and truly started the Roxy's DXC Friends subset of geeky and hobby troublemakers. Therefore, I will allow him to make one more troublemaker, I want to see another original geeky troublemaker out of him. Rio the Cherry Blossom has been a great fan, who makes really good characters. He has yet to make a character for my squad, and if he would like, I want to personally give him an invitation to do so if he so chooses. These final three people are somewhat unlikely to give me a new member, so I've decided to put three of them into one slot, Glarus, John J, and Kadeona. They can talk it over among themselves, and whichever one of them want to be the one to submit a member, can do it. And don't worry, if you don't want to submit a troublemaker, let me know, and I will divert the opportunity again to someone who wants it. Remember everyone, submit the best original anti-hero you can. I will end our update right here. I can't wait to make our final roster at last for Roxas Empire.